Hi Leo, welcome to your general monthly reading for August 2021. I am Charlene Lizette. If you are new, hello, hi, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by. Both my cat and my dog are in the office, so forgive them if they make noise or if meow, Raven jumps on the table. As always, I do need to give gratitude and adoration to my great queen, the Morrigan, to whom all my work is devoted to. So Leo, happy birthday. It's your birthday. We're gonna party like it's your birthday. We're gonna sip a party. Um, um, also on top of that, um, there is the Lionsgate portal, which is active until the 8th. I am feeling it very heavily. I'm filming this on the 27th, the day after the, the portal opens. Um, but there's something very interesting that's going on with your energy, Leo, because when I was sitting here deciding what deck I was going to use and, you know, what messages to deliver to you all, because I do offer channeling and a little bit of my other psychic gifts within the reading, they told me to use this deck. This is the Shadowscape deck. This deck is very ethereal. It's very animal-based. It's very earth-based. And I feel like this month we are going to be tapping into mother earth very strongly so i'm not even going to take this judgment of course we are that's that's it that's the it's judgment day right it's, it, we're in this massive time of judgment and transformation and august is very important okay so three cards for career finances three cards for love romance three cards for general overall energy oh sorry love romance at the bottom general overall in the middle um and raven Okay, let's see what's going on, Leo. So three for career finances for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The Seven of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. Okay, you're doing something on your own here, Leo. Let's get general overall energy. I'm going to have to do it like this just because Raven's butt. Uh, four of Swords, Temperance, mm -hmm. um, and the Lovers. Okay, and then let's get into your love. Let's see. We'll go deeper into your love in a minute. Ten of Wands, mm -hmm. the Knight of Wands, okay, and the Knight of Pentacles, mm -hmm. Page of Cups, um, and Seven of Pentacles, okay. Oh, I like that you're down here, but you're, wow, huh, you're on quite this introspective journey this month, Leo. Leo loves the spotlight. You all love to shine bright. You guys, I, I love Leo energy because Leo is just not having a good time. You know, no matter what we're doing, when we're hanging out with Leos, we're having a good time. You're the life of the party. You know how to smile, how to laugh, how to just do all the fun things. This page of cups, seven of pentacles, five of pentacles, and the sun. That's, that's the bottom of the deck here. There's something here that you're processing, something that you're going through. It feels very transformative in nature. Uh, above that though, this feels like it's, um, I almost wanna say that like you were really pulled to do this. You're really called to do this. This feels like this was not a, an easy decision by any means. This wasn't something that, you know, you were like, yeah, I'm gonna do this, okay, that's fine. I think that you sat with this decision for a very long time and in August, you're pulling the plug or pulling the trigger, sorry. Your astrology card is opposition, complement, duality, dependence, differentiation, objectivity, oscillation, interaction. Yeah, like it's almost like there were two different opposing forces or two energies at like opposing sides. Yeah, that's a fair thing to say. And you were deciding what direction you were gonna go in and how you were going to um, make the situation happen for you. You know, the energy I'm feeling isn't selfish by any means. This feels like you've been denying yourself the opportunity to do this for quite some time. You've been holding back on doing this because you were worried about other people in your life. Maybe your friends, your family, cousins, whatever. Like you were worried that like you would leave them behind or that you wouldn't be able to give your time energy to them if you made this choice or you went on this path of introspection because the page of cups is manifesting and it's doing something that is related to what you love leo right and this is about you you and what you love right like i always think that she's looking at a cauldron underwater right and she's sniffing in what she wants right it's almost like when we got a whiff like i'll say because i know you love money okay leo's love money i love money too um when when like let's just say we're like okay we want to attract abundance okay 
what does abundance look like for us, right? That's what that's what you're doing. But it could be abundance for you. It could be love. It could be moving. And there's a, you know, you're all different. You're all going through your own stuff. So your mantra card you got is growth. I want to expand my consciousness and awareness. So maybe for some of you, it is growth. Maybe it is about consciousness. Maybe it is about leveling up in your spiritual practice. When we look at the middle of the reading, the middle of the deck, hold on. Uh, the middle middle of the reading that's um your general overall energy for the month of august we have the four of swords we have temperance and we have lovers two major arcana followed by a minor the four of swords talks about rest recuperation it talks about taking your time it talks about resetting it talks about you going inside leo and getting really clear on what it is that you want okay this doesn't necessarily feel like it's going to be an action packed month this feels like there's going to be a lot of things you have to do, like responsibilities, but it feels like you're, this almost feels like a, a like a solo passage or a, a, an, a journey of the self, like going into you and getting to know who you are, Leo. Because then we have temperance and we have the lovers. So when I see this together, okay, the biggest thing I can say to you is that you're weighing your pros and cons. There's big decisions you have to make and there's choices that you're having to take. For some of you, it could be choices around love. Maybe there's a new person that like catches your interest and you all are deciding whether or not you're gonna date or if you know they're the right person for you to have a committed relationship with. For others of you, it's leaving a relationship. For others of you, it's travel. Um, for others of you, it's like changing career path. And there's some Something here there's something here that plays a really big um, it, it, it weighs heavy it's got weight to it okay but at the same time it's also a beautiful gift from the universe it's like what you've been waiting for it's what you wanted for a long time and I almost feel like you haven't given per yourself permission for this and this month Leo you're giving yourself permission to have this and giving yourself permission to have this is the biggest blessing you can give yourself because you're honoring your authenticity. And that's a really beautiful message um, indeed. Okay, let's get into your career and finances uh, and then we'll dive into love. So for career and finances, we have the Seven of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. There's that journey, that sense of traveling, that sense of headed into a new direction. It's like you are making plans about what you want your future to look like. You know, it's your birthday month. We're in your energy. We're in this really solid period of manifestation. The next new moon is like uber duper powerful or in the lion's portal Lionsgate portal there's just so much goodness like astrologically and energetically propelling you towards growth okay and career and finance wise i feel like you're really mapping out where you're going you're using your masculine and your feminine energy to make this decision in this particular deck the seven of cups has a man and a woman one holding a map and the other one pointing to where they want to go so it's planning and dreaming it's the two sides of the coin the yin and the yang because together is how these dreams become fruition right you can't have realism without dreams and you can't have dreams without making a plan and being analytical and realistic right then we have the ace of pentacles a solid new beginning how incredibly magical is that right maybe you get a spark of inspiration maybe something uh, is offered to you maybe the universe offers you a new beginning maybe you're having to make moves literally like you know you get a job offer in another part of the world or you have to open up a new office somewhere or the promotion is amazing but it means that you gotta move from city a to city b etc the last card you have in, in your career and finances is that four of cups, which again, makes me feel like you're having to do this alone. Primarily you're alone in this journey, okay? This is almost something that you need to do by yourself. This is almost something that you need to do by yourself, okay? This isn't something that you can do with other people. This is something where there are maybe moments where you'll feel very isolated and very alone, but you understand that you're doing that, Leo, because that's how you grow literally this feels like it feels like you're packing up a bag sorry raven it feels like you're packing up a bag and you're on this you're on this journey 
you're making choices, you're making plans, you're having patience, you're really working with the energy of the universe to propel you in the direction that you desire. Now, love. In August, I feel like love will, um, I don't wanna say that it's gonna sting. I do wanna tell you that um, it may feel a little bit difficult, okay? We'll dive into the love reading a little bit more in a minute. But for now, when I look at the Ten of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles are two very different energies. And the Knight of Wands came out first and the Knight of Pentacles came out second. So they're not even facing each other. It's not like they're both headed towards each other. They're going in opposite directions. So I feel like your wants and your needs, like your... Um, carnal instincts okay are in an opposite direction of your stability your longevity and your planning like i'll give you a perfect example of what this could look like or, or how it can manifest in your life okay um part of you wants to like you know have the hanky panky and do it all around and do all that stuff but then you're realizing that the people that you're doing that with none of them will be able to go the distance with you like none of those people are long-term commitment material do you see what I mean? So part of you wants this hot and heavy, passionate, fiery, sexy, adventurous side, but the other one's like, but the people that I'm doing it with right now are not going to also give me the longevity to go along with it. And that's why I feel like the 10 of, pet of wands showing up here talks about you finally putting down the weight. Maybe you were really hoping to move with a love partner somewhere and they said no, okay? Maybe you were, you know, maybe you're moving and your partner's not coming with you. Maybe you're single and you're moving. This, this Ten of Wands always to me talks about moving. It literally has a whole city on the back of their shoulders and they're going from point A to point B. And so, um, and so this whole energy here, when I look at it, is about you putting down this burden and realizing, well, wait a minute, I can't, okay, I can't be able to move from point A to point B in my life with the current love energy that surrounds me. And that's a big revelation and you should be so proud of yourself because a lot of people will never change their love situation out of fear that they'll lose love. Right. And the thing is, is love is one of those things when we understand that we can't control love, we can't hold it. We have to let love go free. And if we let love go free and love that love comes right back to us, and that means that love that that means that love was meant to be. All right. OK, Leo, we're going to get dive. We're going to dive deeper into your love reading right now. So this is the point where I say if you want to book a live one hour reading with me or if you want to shop over at Starsea Jewels and pick up your modern day amulets, um, you can do so by clicking in the links in the description box below. I am wearing an Ana. It's a 14 karat gold chain um, with this beautiful mood piece, which hasn't been released yet. I, I, a name's not coming to me. It's just amazing. Um, I've got Ishel on my wrist here and also on Morgan. There's all different types of bracelets, necklaces, um, uh, of, and anklets uh, that are available on my site depending on what energy you're looking to attract sorry i feel like i got something in my eyelash if i'm looking at this to be quite honest with you all of this energy that i'm seeing here connects with two things new beginnings and how you honor your space of love okay new beginnings and how you honor your space of love All right, because this is new beginnings. This is choices that you're making around your love life, okay? Um, and your love life could be romantic, but it also could very well be like, where are you going? What, what, how are you doing things that you love, right? How are you honoring what you love about life? Sorry, there's some kids doing some stuff, uh, walking across the, the wooden fence in my backyard. Crazy chill crazy these children nowadays all right leo let's see what's going on for love a little bit deeper as always if you want to shop over at star sea jewels and pick up your modern day amulets or if you want to book a live one hour reading with me take a look at the description box below let your friends help you ask for and accept help for others past life relationship and honeymoon there's the boat codependency at the bottom maybe some of you are realizing that you were in codependent situations and you're leaving away from that um, for others of you here, I think you're realizing that you 
um, are ready to have this commitment with somebody and maybe you're realizing that the person you're with isn't the person you can have that commitment with yeah the eight of cups the high priestess yeah maybe you're realizing that the connection was karmic not long term and honeymoon the tower and for others of you a three of swords at the bottom of the deck as well okay and for others of you i think that you're so you're if you're single you're getting really clear on what you want for love this this month okay you're understanding what works what doesn't you're walking away emotionally from the things that don't serve you you're understanding and really connecting to that divine partner okay your past life relationship this feels like a, an energy of like a long-term commitment relationship that's coming down the pipeline but not yet here because there's still stuff that you got to put down um, and if you are in a relationship, for some of you, you are walking away. Maybe you're not like breaking up, but you're doing a little bit of stuff on your own right now because we got that honeymoon with that tower. Um, and for others of you, maybe you and your partner are moving and you're going on a little bit of a staycation or somewhere going on vacation and, you know, doing the hanky panky. All right, Leo, happy birthday. Thank you so much for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. Thank you so much for booking one hour readings with me and for shopping over at Starsea Jewels and picking up your modern day amulets. I create all the crystals jewelry that's available take a look at the description box below to book or shop and we'll see you on the next one see you later alligator peace out bye